Hi guys, welcome to Jazzy Jenna. And today, I'm going to be showing you my daily makeup routine. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, let's get started. Okay, hi guys. So today I'm going to be showing you my daily makeup routine. And I know I do this like a lot. This would be the third time. I really like showing you my makeup, though. I really like showing you. I really like show. I really like showing you how I do my makeup almost every day. So, this is me without makeup. And the first step to doing your makeup is to get shaked up. Shake it up. Okay. So, step one completed. That was also completed this morning, but. Second step, pull your hair back, because if you don't pull your hair back, then it's going to get in your face while you do your makeup, and I'm not very good with my hair, so I just pull it back in an easy ponytail, but, you know. Hey! Sorry about my dogs. They're being kind of annoying. Buster is being annoying, specifically. But first... The third, well, not first, but the third step to doing your makeup is to actually get started with your makeup. So first, I do foundation. I don't really have anything to blend this in with. Um, I think. Well, I have a brush. I know most people would not blend it in with just a brush. But the thing is, usually I blend it in with a brush. But today, I think I'm going to use this. But usually I don't use it because it's broken. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. My makeup bag's kind of messy. So. so I'm just going to put this on my finger and go, whoa. I'm just going to put a bunch of dots. Ooh. I put a lot of foundation. I cannot get this on my dress. This is a pretty dress, too. I put a lot on my forehead for some reason. Now, some for my nose. Now, a bunch for my cheeks. <laughs> I just put it on my lip, but whatever. Now on my chin. Uh, 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 in, oh yeah, and below my nose, which I already got. But this foundation is also sunscreen, so I look like I have like. Chicken pox or something. Ooh. You didn't see that, but I just wiped it in the carpet. I don't really care. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. I'm rough doing my own makeup. I just want to kind of get hitting myself over with. I think I got some in my eye. Darn it. I have kind of have to close my eyes. Because. It's hard when you close your eyes, though, because you don't... I blend this in with my... It gets a, It always gets in my hair, and it's so annoying. Um, but yeah, so my foundation is also sunscreen. So I wear... So instead of putting foundation and sunscreen over it when I go to, like, the beach in the pool... Um, yes, I do sometimes wear makeup to the pool. <laughs> but instead of doing foundation and then sunscreen over the foundation, I feel like it looks really, not look, but it feels really weird. But, um, so instead of doing that, I buy, I buy foundation that is also sunscreen. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to 
be back when I'm done with all of this. So, see you then. Hey guys, so I'm done blending in my foundation all around my face. Um, I think I put a lot today. My nose looks really funny because I think I put way too much for my small little nose. But I'm actually not done yet. Um, so I put some on my eyes. Not like in my eye, eyeball. But I put tiny, tiny drops. And I blend them in with my hand because I don't like doing it with the brush because I'm afraid that if I do it with the brush, then I might get it in my eye. Which I've gotten in my eye anyway with my finger, but whatever. I think that it's most likely not going to happen if you will. But you know, it's not really coming out that well. So, I had some extra on this eye, so I just put it on the other eye. Okay, now I'm definitely done. So, ugh. Oh, my eyelashes. <laughs> okay, but we'll fix that later anyway with my mascara. But wait, I just, I spoiled it, darn it. Okay, so my broken foundation brush really helped me with that. But now the next step is the glitter. I'm just kidding. This, I, it's kind of weird that I do it, <laughs> that I do glitter before my blush, but I'm going to try something different today and do it after, because it might, because, because you see so glitter, it doesn't really work on me that well, um, <laughs> because the glitter part of it, when I put glitter over my blush, I just think I put way too much. And I, because I love glitter and I just get kind of carried away. So I've started putting it under my blush and it's kind of weird, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So I'm gonna glitter over my palette. This is not like me, seriously. I know I just said a lot and you probably don't get a word I just said. But I'm going but I put glitter but if you didn't get it, I I just said that I put glitter under my blush and I know it's it's kinda weird, but I don't know. I have a mirror right next to myself right now, so you can't really see the glitter. It's just kinda shimmery. Makes me shiny. I have to close this. Okay. Now we do put blush. So I have to find my blush brush. This is not a good blush brush. I hate itching myself with foundation on because it because my skin is like so smooth. But whatever. So I think I'm gonna use this one. It's glittery. So I like it. And I that's messy. I have two of the same blush palette, and they're both really messy, but whatever. I have to use them anyway. Um, I have a mirror right next to the camera, if I didn't already say, so that's why I'm kind of looking over there a little bit, because the camera's kind of small because I'm vlogging with my phone, <laughs> so... Why is there hair on my nose? Guess I didn't pull my hair back well enough. So I put the pink on first, and then I put some purple over it. I know it might it. I know it might sound like it looks a little weird, but after it actually looks really pretty. I'm not even done with the side of my face yet, so, but yeah, so, I just put this over, the purple over my pink, but I add a lot of pink, because I just go a straight line across, and, and it, 
I don't know why, but some people tell me that they don't like it on their nose, but I love it on my nose. I never want to touch. I just go whoop. I think I just got some of the purple, but whatever. Yep, and I just keep going. <sighs> My hands are kind of tired from the foundation because I have to keep, like, smacking myself with that brush or whatever it's called. Hey, can anybody tell me what these things are called? Because I've, I've been trying to figure it out, but I have no idea. So, like... Can someone please tell me? Okay, now put the purple over it. It gives it some more taste. It gives it, I was going to say taste, but no, I'm not baking here. I'm putting makeup on, but it just helps it a little. I actually love just doing makeup. It's just kind of relaxing. Besides the foundation part where I have to smack myself. But besides the, I really like it. Okay, so now that I'm done with my house, I'm going to do my eyebrows. Because it's just, I don't know. I just don't like the way they look right now. I'm just gonna. I so I go up and over, up and over, up and over. I also do this again after my um little bit of eyeshadow. I put barely any eyeshadow on because I just think that if I put too much, I get carried away, and then. This doesn't work. Now I have to put my. I have to find. And I have this really nice um, sequin um, eyeshadow palette. I have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes, but this is one of my favorites. I don't use the glitter ones because they always get in my eyes. <laughs> but I do like having them now. Um. Which one? So, I'm going to put. Oh, I'm going to put this one on. Um, you can't even see. I'm going to put this one on the base as the base, and then I'm going to put some pink over it, and then I'm going to put this one. They're basically cut the same color, except this one's glittery. So I'm this one, this one, 